So I'm John Lang, guys, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. This is chapter 25, when we last left off, um, what were we doing? Excuse me. There we go. They weren't noticing me at first. Notice me denomination. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, when we last left off, we were doing some, some cargo hijacking and stuff. I actually want to grab this real quick and see what this is about if my audio sounds weird i'm sorry guys i've spent the last hour trying to fix it and i honestly cannot so i'm just gonna try to <clears throat> i'm gonna try to calm down and talk a little quieter but in any case um i wanted to catch this train because i want to see what this train robber is about i did change up some settings for my recording so hopefully it looks smoother it feels smoother you know record smoother sort of thing um only one real way to find out besides that though um we did change the color of the suit I'll show you guys that real quick i'm wearing the midnight blue which is midnight blue warm gray and terracotta don't ask me what kind of color terracotta is i guess it'd be an orange uh orange brown sorry <clears throat> um i did go back off screen and um redid how am i supposed to catch this I went back off screen and uh, redid that Templar hunt where I needed the uh, the um, ah, it's turning shit where I needed the um, the poison darts for so I'm now back up to having completed everything um, fully like 100% sync which is nice. I don't even know where the hell am I. I just entered Whitechapel. Okay, so if I can get up there first, then I can uh, wait for the train there and jack it from the station. Yeah, we'll see how all this goes. The recording looks decent right now. I'm not getting uh, encoding overloads like I normally do, which is nice. Um, Oh god, it's a one-way street and I'm driving like a tour bus. There we go. Yeah, I want to see what this whole train robbery thing is about. So that is what I'm going to do. There it is right there on the other side. Yeah, um, probably something I should have did a long time ago is, you know, I figure out the best settings for my, for my recordings, which we more recently just, uh, upgraded my, my settings. But again, I probably should have just did that, but, um, did that more sooner, more sooner. Jesus, Josh, is that the, uh, treasure I'm here for? That was very, very, very easy. Obviously, it's not supposed to be that easy. <laughs> Look at that. We got the golden obsidian. Next up is the black diamond. This is a moving... Uh Moving hijacking. Okay. I should be able to do this. Was I supposed to push a button there? I was not paying attention. Can I get up any slower? Jesus fucking Christ. Can I get on the fucking... Oh my god. 
well, it wouldn't have reset if, uh, you know, I actually got onto the fucking carriage like I'd pressed the seventh time. <laughs> well. Regardless, this wasn't really what I wanted to do anyways. What I wanted to do was focus on other stuff. That wasn't the Ned missions. Let's head over there and do this cargo hijack. Get that out of the way, I suppose. And then I guess we'll go from there. See where we end up and such. I'm only going to do the cargo hijacks until I, uh... Until I get, like, the level 5 loyalty. Or, ra rather, I'm gonna only going to do the hijacks until I get level 5 loyalty. I had to sneeze, which was no good. Alright, anyways, let's continue on. I'm extremely worried about this audio. I can see it maxing out, like, constantly to my right. And I don't know what's causing the audio to spike. It's apparently a known issue with OBS, which would make sense because I tested my mic out prior to that. You motherfucker. I tested my audio out prior to this. And it worked fine in the test, like not even on OBS, but just in general. Which leads me to believe this is an OBS thing, because I haven't changed my mic settings in years. Let alone at all. I might be stuck. There we go. Caught a lamppost. I hope they pay extra for that. <laughs> In any case, though. Still have this to do too. The dreadful crimes up in Whiteboro or Whiteboro, White Chapel. How far am I from that? Cart escort. Just all sorts of activities now for Ned, huh? I suppose we can do a cart escort. We'll see what that's about. Earned a skill point. How many skill points do I have? Just the one. Had to check. Yeah, let me drive. Escort the convoy to its destination and protect it from blader attacks. That guy's gonna get ran over. Sucks to suck. You better shoot straight, sir. Ow. Not what I wanted. Why is my dude jumping off? Are you an idiot? <laughs> like that wasn't horrible probably could have been better okay 
situated. Is there another one up the street? There is another one up the street. Um, missions. Let's focus on missions. Head up to Whitechapel so I can do the uh, the dreadful crimes case. Less I get caught up in all these side activities. Like that. I'm gonna hit the train again. It's too much money to pass up. Don't think running on foot is my best bet here, but I'm gonna make it work. Some Mission Impossible type shit right here. Look at that. They both on the next car. They are. So what I'm seeing really here. I was going to detach, but you know what? Don't even need to. Let's get the hell out of here. Easy peasy. This one gives a like ton of money ton of xp some good loyalty it's hard to pass that up all right now anyways back to what i was doing originally <clears throat> i think i have a ton of money yeah let's spend some of this money all right i knew that do also have a skill point Cavalry, cavalry call. Summon a carriage full of rooks to aid you. Hold right bumper to open the rooks menu and press A to call the carriage. Uh, little rooks, children are the best thieves in London. When using uh, right bumper to interact with them, they'll give you better loot items. Also have delivery service. More hanging barrels will appear around the city. Shoot the barrels to have them fall on unsuspecting enemies. Explosive delivery, you'll see more explosives around the city. Press B to carry the crate or hold B to ignite it. I also have Growler Boom. Increase the popularity of the Growler. Look for more of this favorite on the streets of London. Dispatcher. Nimbler, faster and more reliable. Fire trucks can reach the poorer boroughs of London. There's only one more upgrade that I can't currently get right now. Here's uh, Assassin Steps. I've been putting off for a while. You suffer slight, uh, significantly reduced damage from falls and make no noise. When you land, your movement also makes significantly less noise. <clears throat> Which is always nice. Besides that... Gonna sit on the rest of my money for now. <laughs> I 
Someone was getting beaten around the corner there. I'm going to actually stop in at the shop real quick, get a uh, full inventory before I progress on. a bit of a trek to get over there but I'm sure we'll be okay we will make it Especially with the zip line, that's so good, man. I love the zip line. Okay. I think the uh that light that's over there is the uh the case we're looking to go do right now. Which we are very, very quickly approaching because zip lines are good. Okay, let's head down here. That's an old lady. That's a thief. What do we got here? The Fiend of Fleet Street. Solve the case of the missing Detective Murphy. This should be interesting. Ah, this is one that's most promising. An important detective is missing. Skullduggery is surely afoot. Solve it, and I'll write it up quick as you please. Alright, let's go see if we can't figure this out. He says questionably. What do you got here? Frederick Aberlein, policeman. <clears throat> what do you know about Detective Murphy? He's a friend of mine. The whole station is out looking for him as we speak. Ironically, he came here on an investigation himself. Seems several people have gone missing in this part of town. Tell me about the missing people. We've had reports of missing people over the last few months. Detective Murphy is just the most recent and the only one who's anybody to speak of. Interesting. I don't know if my audio is properly equipped or nah. Give me one second here just to fix some settings. I don't even need to fix any settings. It's there. It just didn't seem like it. Um, okay. Well, everything seems to be really close by. Let's head to uh, the flower shop. Seems to be the closest thing. Is there anything else here? No. What is this? Uh, manure, sorry, manure, <laughs> a sack of manure for plants. Examination shows that small bits of bone are mixed in. One appears to be a human knuckle. There's something else over here. Woman's jacket, made of soft brushed leather, uh, decorated with diamond shaped holes. Diamond shaped holes, very odd. We also have a leather bag made of pale leather. On the bottom is a fading green image. It appears to be a cross of some sort. 
That had diamond shaped holes as well. Who are you? Joanna, assistant of the florist. What do you know about Detective Murphy? I saw him going into the barber shop when I was on my way to work. And missing people? In this kind of neighborhood, people come and go. Thank you for your help. Stefan Bean, he's the florist. What do you know about Detective Murphy? An odd man indeed. He spent a fair amount of time in there poking around. Oh, he was looking for missing people. Do you know anything about that? Some people around town just seem to vanish. It is mysterious. And what can you tell me about the manure behind us? George delivers that to us. It's amazing. The flowers just grow and grow. Who's this George? Sweet boy. Constantly giving my assistant gifts, a jacket, a handbag, and so on. I guess we should talk to her real quick. Tell me about George. George is my sweetheart. I think he plans to propose marriage soon. Maybe even today. Let's go down the street to the bakery. We'll just be sure not to eat anything from here. Yo, it even looks like the fucking layout. That's awesome. Kind of anyways. Alright, what do we got here? Bills. Bills paid. Several from George for meat delivery. It seems Mrs. Moffat pays promptly and gets a good deal from George. We also have something over here. Crate of meat. A crate of meat with no label. The meat smells a little odd. Unusual. I wonder if someone can tell me more about this. Mrs. Moffat, baker of meat pies. What can you tell me about Detective Murphy? He was in here asking about missing people. But a meat pie he did. Stephen chatted for a few minutes and headed off to the barber. What can you tell me about the missing people? I'm told that some people have gone missing, but I don't know anything about it. What about your meat? George delivers meat for my pies. Lovely lad. I pay on delivery. I believe he picks it up from a local butcher shop. Thank you, miss. Go ahead and talk to the butcher. I hope you guys know what we're in the middle of, by the way. John Tynes, butcher. Do you know Detective Murphy? You mean the annoying bloke nosing around? I told him to sod off. What can you tell me about this meat? I pride myself on the quality of the beef I sell. Somebody selling cheap around here, though. My sales have dropped off. What can you tell me about George? George? I don't know any George. Interesting. But yeah, no, you guys should definitely know what this is. And if you don't... I don't know what to tell you. I do not know what to tell you. Sit down to the leather shop. Tobias Jeffers, leather worker. Do you know Detective Murphy? He came in asking lots of questions. I believe I answered them to his satisfaction. He was looking for missing people. Do you know anything about that? I suppose there are a few people I haven't seen in a while. What do you know about George? Why would you want to know about him? Oh, stupid boy. He does deliver tan leather on occasion, but I really have very little to do with him. Interesting. George Delivery. Leather scrap. A sheet of leather with a diamond shaped hole in it. Interesting. What do we have here? Leather working tools, a collection of sharp knives and strong, thick needles, also several awls, some of which would be used to puncture uh, distinctively shaped holes. Knives, needles, and awls. Thought there was an open window here for some reason. I'm about to jump out of it. Here we head to the barber shop. Most likely our last location. Should be uh, way up to it, I would imagine. Oh, just right here in the back. 
What do we have here? Blood. Several drops of blood. Someone has stepped in it, leaving a trail. Who stepped ya? What is this? Uh, razors. Sharpen Barber's razors. Who do we have here? Feeny Sod Barber. It's hilarious. What can you tell me about Detective Murphy? What can you tell me about missing people? You're right. Several people have disappeared over the past months. Some of them were customers of mine. What about this blood behind us? I'm trying to quit drinking. Sometimes my hand shakes when I'm given a shave. Hmm. Apparently. What can you tell me about George? George was in here earlier, getting an haircut. He wanted to look nice for his girl. He's been seeing Joanna from the flower shop for some time now. Said he's finally saved up enough money. Let's follow this. Footprints. See if we can't catch up to George here. We off in that direction. Through here. George's house. I say everything must be upstairs. Someone just got killed. I heard that from here. What do we have here? A ledger. A list of pickups and drop offs. The pickups are mysterious. The drop offs are meat delivered to bakery, manure to florist, leather to Tobias, leather delivered to leather worker. The totals show a thriving business, but the supplier gets most of the money. Supplier. Sorry. I was reading that thing down there. It said, good deal. Meat for pies, florist, manure, leather, Tobias. George's body. George is very reluctant. Oh, sorry. George is very recently dead. His chest, sir. His chest has a puncture wound, a diamond-shaped hole. He was just killed. Diary. Diary entry indicating that George is becoming increasingly suspicious concerning his deliveries. Now that I have enough set aside to propose to Joanna, I've written to a detective about my suspicions regarding the true source of the products I deliver. I was going to try to reverse follow these footprints here, but guess not. Alrighty, let's leave here. Seems to me we're done. Yeah, let's cut through this. I want to get back down that way. Easiest way possible. <laughs> 